Hey y'all, how's it going? It is Mia and this is the official video to celebrate 200 subscribers on my channel. I'm a little late, you know, sometimes you, you're like crossing your fingers cause you're like, well, if I do it like right off the dot, I don't want to jinx it, but I don't even know what to say or where to begin. Um, just that I am so happy that I can't even express because it feels like when I first started this channel long, long ago, or maybe at least when I started getting serious about it back in college i like never imagined getting past like 50 subscribers let alone 100 so the fact that just in the spring we celebrated 100 and now we're basically at the end of the summer already at 200 i am just baffled but i guess you know i was like well i should do something fun like last time we did fandom moments so today i'm gonna fill you all in a little bit more on the mia lore because i mean i talk about all these things but do you really know the creator? And so I thought I would start by telling you guys the story about how I was on The Tonight Show. I mean, look, I've got the mug to prove, I'm not gonna drink out of this because it's dusty, but I have the mug to prove it, so I'm not lying. <laughs> So actually, while I was thinking about like what I wanted to talk about for my special, I tweeted this a couple days ago. I've been watching a lot of Jimmy Fallon. <laughs> and I tweeted, the transfer of energy from Mia to Jimmy Fallon, Jimmy to Joseph Quinn. It's basically like Joe shook my hand. And I tweeted this photo. Yes, that is me. And, you know, it's the transfer of energy, you know? It's like, that's how that works. <laughs> so... See, not clickbait. I was on The Tonight Show, but I'll explain. So basically, um, if you go around to this sort of section of my channel here, just before I took that huge gap five years ago, I was living in New York. I had an internship there, moved to New York in the summer of 2016. I actually went again in the summer of 2017, but this was my first summer living in New York. And I guess around between these two videos here, this is when I went back to college. This is kind of towards the end. Right at the end of my internship, my parents came to come pick me up, take me away from that terrible, terrible place. Uh, but, you know, we they had some time to spend around and be in the city, so I thought it would be a fun idea to uh, take some of my family to the Tonight Show because tickets are free. Hey, you need something to do. And it was close to being my brother's birthday as well. So I was like, okay, why not? So here is the lineup. So what happens is they kind of release the lineup day by day, probably like a week out. So I was seeing like all these cool people who were gonna be on the show, Michael Fassbender, Matt Damon, Will Smith, Usher, Margot Robbie, Nick Cannon, Jared Leto, Jonah Hill, Dua Lipa in 2016, that's really funny. Z's and sorry. And so then the day finally came. This is the day that we went Thursday the 4th with uh, Miles Teller and Carrie Russell and Steven Tyler. So it's it's an okay lineup for 26. Well, for 2016, Miles Teller wasn't as big as he was. Um, but hey, you know, and what can you do? So now we're going in the old photo vault here, me in New York. So this was uh, in 30 Rock. So what happens is you are kind of, you go to 30 Rockefeller Center, you know, where they have SNL, all the NBC studios. And so I don't know if you've ever been actually to uh, race through New York at Universal Studios, I believe it's only in Orlando and they have kind of the outside. It looks just like 30 Rockefeller Center. And when you go inside, it actually does look like the entrance to uh, the Tonight Show. So if you've ever done that or just go look up a YouTube video uh, for that, that's kind of what it's like to go in and see what it's like to be inside of the building. So here, it's a little embarrassing. Here's my brother. I don't know what we were doing actually. This might've been the gift shop. I'm trying to zoom it. <laughs> Uh, where you've got the people from the Today Show. They've got some t-shirts back there. So I got my mug from the Universal, not the Universal, the um, NBC store. And then this is my ticket. So I guess the show time is at five o'clock. I thought it was earlier, but you it's not live, obviously. You don't, you don't show up at like 1130 and then they start filming. They do tape it and then edit it and do all that stuff. And um, it was quite the fun experience, just kind of being in the audience, being, it, it feels so much smaller when you're actually there um, than what it looks like on TV. You're like, oh, well, this is it. The stage is kind of small and intimate. It's not like you're in a huge theater. It's just this kind of little studio and you've got the roots in there playing and all that stuff. And so it was, it was quite the experience. And you know you have to, they've got the laugh sign, so if Jimmy tells a, a stinker of a joke, you have to laugh anyway, even if it's awkward. 
But I mean, Jimmy Fallon never tells bad jokes. Like he's got the best writers in the whole world. But at the end is when he goes to the audience and does the high five. So it's kind of like, you're like, oh my gosh, please, please, please. I hope that he comes by me because I really want a high five from Jimmy Fallon. And Jimmy Fallon really wants a high five from me, let's be honest. So I don't, I, I looked all over to try to find the clip for this and it is so far in the past this was season three and then now on season nine uh with jimmy fallon that i could not find that clip for the life of me but i do have screenshots um oh this is me coming out of 30 rockefeller center by the way with my um the little wristband that they give you i thought i was going to save that forever and i probably lost it um but so here i am this is him running down the aisle we're over here in the center I'm just gonna get a little closer because I need to zoom in here. And that is me. That's my brother Wisdom right there. And uh, there he is. Wisdom is getting his high five from Jimmy Fallon. I might have just gotten my high five. Maybe that's why I look so like happy. <laughs> my brother was so happy. I was like, you better thank me. This is the best birthday gift you could possibly ever get. Because I mean, we were, we were huge Jimmy Fallon fans. We'd be watching it pretty much. Oh, I, okay, I think that one is me. And well, let me zoom in on this one, but I mean, you get it. There, that's my hand, that's Jimmy Fallon. So, I mean, the proof is there, guys. I was on The Tonight Show. Now, yeah, this was, I mean, not to brag, this wasn't my first time being on TV. I will say it was my first late night debut. I think every American has pretty much been on the news. I was on the news, I think, when I was in second grade at some, for something for one of our museums. And then here I also have a throwback video where I went live for the first time on, uh, when I was a little baby journalist. Uh, and I was, so if you were in mid-Missouri, you might have seen me on TV. And I was also on TV again after that, which I didn't talk about, I don't think. Um, I just had another story on the news and that aired like sometime over the summer. I'd, I'd like completely forgotten about all the work I had done. And there, I got like a call or an email and they're like, hey, your um, stories are gonna air on television today. And I was like, they're like, can you send us some stuff? And I was like, I completely forgot what that story was about. So with that being said, this is a small little announcement here. That was not and will not be the last time that I am on TV. I don't, I won't reveal too much more until I know more facts about it, but I will be making my television uh, debut once again a little bit later this year and not only in america but also over in the uk so it's going to be quite interesting stick around i think it's going to be kind of fun you know what just just for the heck of it i'm going to give you a little bit of a teaser about if you have listen if you've been following my instagram you might have seen some of my updates if you don't you should be following at me at j media on twitter and on instagram but there it is that's fun that's exciting and i just hope that you guys will continue to stick around with me and you know we are now on the road to 300 subscribers i know it doesn't sound like a ton but in comparison for me it's just monumental so um i don't know i'm at this rate i'm lost for words i'm just so excited to be doing this again and i'm so excited that i've kind of taken the plunge into getting back into it but i'm sure that's enough said if you enjoyed this video please give me a like um I don't know what other stories you want to hear from me. If not, I guess by the time we get to 300, I'll tell some more fascinating stories. Otherwise, if you happen to stumble upon this and you haven't subscribed already, stick around, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. <laughs> Bye.